Hello Model Railroad fans. Uh, September has now come and gone, amazingly enough. We're in October, but that means it is time for another haul video. And unlike the month of July and August, which I combined together, September I picked up a whole bunch of stuff. In fact, you can see it all right here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this stuff up into two groups. Uh, one group will be what I received um, last weekend for my birthday, and the other group will be just general stuff that I picked up throughout the month of September. So give me just a couple of moments to uh, get this all sorted out, and I will be right back. All right, I am back. And I'd like to thank you for joining me today here at Vintage Road and Rail. And I hope wherever you are, you're having a good day. All right, so let's uh, dive into the items that I picked up through the month of September. Like I said at the outset, uh, this is going to be in two groups. Um, for full disclosure, real quick, my birthday is actually in August, not in September. But due to a lot of overtime my wife was having to do and me starting a new job in August and a few other things it just turned into a crazy month and then in the first part of September we all got some sort of stomach something and nobody felt good so we just said okay kind of towards the end of September we'll uh, we'll celebrate your birthday and that's what we did so um, just throw that out there uh, not that it necessarily matters but anyway like I said at the outset we're going to divide this up into two camps so we're going to go over first the birthday items and then we're going to go over just the general items that I picked up throughout the month of September but even for the birthday items we're going to separate it out into two different categories as well so and I'll explain that briefly uh, some of the items are going to be actual presents things that my wife you know uh, got me uh, stuff that my kids got me for actual birthday presents that were wrapped up and everything at the end of the day and the other stuff is things that I was allowed to buy if you will um, earlier in the day during our celebration um, and just as a quick highlight on that uh, I was taken to a hobby shop about an hour or so away from here that I really like and don't get to go to as often So I was able to find all kind of good stuff. Anyway, uh, I've been rambling on already for a couple of minutes So let's get to it. So like I said, we're going to start first with the items that I Bought myself, but just happened to be on my birthday or the day we celebrated my birthday and This does not belong in there. Let me set that off to the side. Sorry about that. Oh, yes, it does. What the heck am I thinking? Okay, <laughs> it just belongs in the other group. So let me set that off over there. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to go over is some loose items. So I've got here this uh, Crossley television, refrigerators, automatic laundry, and air conditioners uh, boxcar made by Bachman. It's in pretty good shape. It's got its little wheel, brake wheel. All the little stirrups are there. Trucks look to be in good shape. Everything's present, so that's good. Next item is a loose, uh, looks like an Athen boxcar. Sand Hills route, Nebraska, West Central Division. It's got its brake wheel. Everything looks to be intact. Looks really good. And I love what they did with this one. They've painted the weight black. I really like that. I hate the silver. It just drives me crazy. Uh, and this has been upgraded to knuckle couplers. But it still has, unfortunately, the plastic wheels. So I have to do something about that in the future. And this one was part of a gift. So let me set that off to the side there. All right. So the next thing that I picked up at the uh, hobby shop is going to be six um, Atherin Blue Box. And now these aren't kits, they're already assembled, or at least uh, I think most of them are. So let's start with this first one. And it's going to be this uh, Burlington Refrigerator Express uh, Reefer. 
right now I'm kind of on a on a tear of collecting 40 foot reefers doesn't matter who lifelike Tyco Atherin makes no never mind uh, then here's another Atherin and it is going to be another reefer but this one is 1980 NMRA convention model railroad club of Orlando I picked that one up just because I thought it was unique alright so the other kit which is again most of these are assembled but I think there's one that's not and this is this hobby warehouse car and it's fully assembled but I believe it's missing at least one of its couplers but it it was upgraded to uh, have knuckle couplers but if I remember correctly all of these really need to be upgraded to metal wheels all right I believe this one here says Portland Rose 1997 I believe this one is one that still needs to be assembled and it is 40 foot box car looks really good again I picked this up just because it's it's unique I'll, I'll be honest with you while I have them plain old standard box cars eh where's the fun in that all right and this is the fifth of these uh, kits here it's the 40th anniversary of model railroader I wonder if there's uh, like a 10th 20th and 30th or even after because I've got this 40 year now I've got a 50 and a 60 the 50 is like a gold color and I've yet to put that together I need to get on that and finally the last of these blue box kits open it up here is just this um, American refrigerator transit company just a standard reefer made by Atherin obviously and that will do it for the items that I just picked up at that hobby shop on my little shopping spree on the day we celebrated my birthday um, actually no there is one other item and I kind of hate to break this out right now because this is something I would normally save for the end and it is not what you might think I mean the box says 50 foot waffle side box car that is not what it is so I'm going to pull it out of frame take the box off and I'm going to unwrap it and then we're going to bring it back in frame very carefully I was really excited to see this and I just had to have it it is made by AHM and it is this beauty the AHM Spirit of 76 Conrail GG1 and it was tested at the uh, hobby shop there they had two of these this one was the better looking of the two um, it ran really well so I couldn't imagine the other one running any better but this one was not dusty the other one was fairly dusty so save me having to do all that cleanup all right so that is the last item that I picked up myself just on that little shopping spree and I apologize I just want to go ahead and wrap it up it's in this kind of foam like I don't know what you call it I call it foam paper but I don't know what its official name is just kind of keep it safe all right so the next thing we're going to go over is from my oldest daughter of all of a minute I've got twins so the first thing that she got me is this loose merchandise service Pennsylvania boxcar I believe this is going to be made by um, Roundhouse but it looks really good I've already run this on the layout up at the club and then she got me this model power Domino sugar car another model power this Olympia beer car and this is made by PMI but it's a bay window spirit of 76 caboose and finally oh no nope, two more she got me this Bachman dynamite car I heard someone say they make one of these that blows apart I have no idea I've never seen that and lastly the thing she got me was the state of Maine 
uh, I believe, is that a reefer? Uh, yes, it is. But it's a 41 foot reefer. So she got that one. All right, and my other daughter. Now, she got less items, but I think the price was roughly about the same. She got me these two nice ready to roll hopper cars. We got this DT and I. And this Grand Trunk. All right. So let me scoot those aside. And this is what my wife got for me, this next item. And it is going to be a complete Tyco train set. It's an exclusive for pennies. This was put out in 1968 in their uh, Christmas catalog. And I have done a video for this already, um, so I will post a card up here somewhere, maybe up at the top. That way if you haven't seen that, you can check it out, and I've done an unboxing and looked at each piece and run it around the track. Alright, well that covers it for everything that I got for my birthday celebration. Uh, so I'm going to stop the uh, footage right here for a moment, and I'm going to grab the other items, and we'll see if we can kind of roll through those quickly. All right, so hang tight, and I'll be right back. All right, I am back. It took me a few moments to get all that stuff moved off the table and the other stuff on. All right, so these are all items that I just picked up throughout the course of the month. Uh, this first item, as far as train stuff goes, is probably a bit weak sauce, but you, you still got to have it. Is I picked up this um, little case here to kind of keep my uh, couplers and wheel sets separate. So up here you're going to see what I need to add knuckle couplers to my cars and I've got some uh, some screws here, some coupler pockets, and in here is going to be some uh, Katie wheel sets and down here we've got some inner mountain and I've got some traction tires and some older horn hook couplers and then some pieces I need to glue back but we'll cover that in a few minutes. So. Not the most wow factor with that, but hey, you know. All right, so next up we got this um, Athern box car. I believe it's a 40 footer. Uh, it's loose, but every, everything is there. Um, it's been upgraded to knuckle couplers, but they didn't paint the bottom, so I'm gonna address that at some point. But uh, stirrups look great. The rest of the car looks great, so no complaints. That's it as far as loose uh, cars. So then I've got this Tyco Chrome Texaco car, which is going to go great with the other three that I have. And that's the last of them. I finally have all of them. Uh, then I've got this AccuRail kit, which I have already assembled. Uh, it is from our, it's a 2017 club car for my. Uh, model railroad club they had a couple of extras so I went ahead and picked this one up so here's the kit and here's the car it's a uh, Hocking Valley and I upgraded this to Katie couplers and it's got plastic wheels on there they seem to be doing okay for right now so I think I'm gonna leave it and there was some detailing that was supposed to go here and here but it was a pain in the butt to get on there and it was just going to get broke anyway so I just left it off so that's the AccuRail car then we got a couple more ready to roll items and this one's in the box upside down but it's a reefer I believe this is 40 foot yep 40 foot uh, Needham Packing Company flavored meats I've been on a kick, like I said, for uh, reefer cars, but I just love the color of this one. I love the blue. Uh, then, I got this Chessie System covered hopper, which we'll cover that in a little bit more, um, well, not more detail, but we'll go over this again here in just a moment. So, don't forget about that car. Alright, then we've got a roundhouse kit, which... It just says um, 1992 and I believe this is some sort of convention that happened in Columbus, Ohio. 
And I got this car because I live in Columbus, well, the Columbus area, but, uh, and so that's why I got this car. All right, then up next we got three Atherm kits. Let's go ahead and open it and we'll get this out of the way here. And it's another NMRA car. I believe this is a 50th anniversary one. Yep, there it is, celebrating 50 years. So that's about the same color as the 50 year anniversary of, uh, of the uh, model railroad or magazine car. I don't know if that's a coincidence or what, but there it is. All right, and I got two more of these. This one's assembled. I believe it's got, now it's just got the plastic wheels, but it does have knuckle couplers. It's this Baltimore and Ohio Centennial, or Sentinel uh, boxcar. I didn't really need it, but I, I just, again, I like the colors of it, so I got it. And this one also, I got it at the same time. Excuse me. But it's another uh, B&O uh, boxcar. I've got to give a little bit of work to this one. Uh, one of these doors keeps wanting to pop off when I close it. It's on the other side. That way, just kind of hold it down so it doesn't flop around. And that is it for the Atherm cars. And then I picked up two Walther's train line uh, hopper cars. We got this Lee, uh, Leahy Valley. And then we got this red Burlington. They roll really, really well, look nice. Then I got three reefer kits. I've never bought one of these before. I've seen these before, these trains miniature. Uh, I have never gotten them because I'd always just kind of stuck to Atherin and Roundhouse. But since I've been on this kick for uh, reefer cars, they seem to have a ton. So we've got this one here, unassembled. Asco evaporated milk. And then we got another reefer, doggy dinner. And then we've got this last one right here, West Cotton Winks, butter, eggs, and poultry. All right, so that is the last of the cars. So what we've got next are two train sets. So I'm going to see if I can turn this camera around and point it up. And I hope you're able to get a, a decent look at that. So I'm going to bring this one in a little closer. All right. Now, I've already done a video on this, and it included that covered hopper that I told you to remember was covered in there. All right. So if you want more detail on that, I will put a link somewhere up in here so you can click on that video. All right, so it's a uh, Spirit of 76. I believe this was a GP38 too, with a matching caboose. And this is a complete set, everything you need, power pack, the whole nine yards. And then we had a tank car, a box car, which I loved, it was in red, white, and blue, so it fits nicely with that Spirit of 76 uh, scheme. And then we have this uh, So Lines hopper car with load. All right, but like I said, click on that uh, card if you want to see more about this, about this train set. And then I was so impressed with it that I found this one. However, it's not as good, but I won't go into that today. But uh, this other one, let me bring it back. If you see here, it says Iron Horse. And if I can get it around, you see it there again, Iron Horse. But this one, while well, it just says train set, it's a war bonnet. If you can see that there. So this has an F7 Santa Fe, and it has a matching caboose Santa Fe, but it's the bay window. And again, this is a full train set, so it has everything you need. And it's got red tank car, a blue The Rock box car, and this Rio Grande. Uh, gondola 
and that other one was a gondola. I can't remember what I called it. But uh, anyway, so that wraps up everything that I have picked up in the month of September. And like I said, I have done a video on this, so feel free to check that out if you haven't. And I'm going to do a video on this in the future. And then I may do another video kind of comparing the differences and similarities between these two because there are differences and there are similarities. So anyway, that will wrap up this video. So, um, yeah, so if you have any of these um, pieces of rolling stock or locomotives or anything in your collection, uh, if you run them frequently, uh, make sure you comment down below and tell me all about it. I love to read the comments. I try to reply to all of them. Uh, so, yeah, so let me know uh, what you're running, and if you have any thoughts on any of this stuff, let me know. But uh, that's going to wrap it up. So if you enjoyed watching this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, happy model railroading. Take care.